Hello again, everyone, and welcome to Phrasal Verb Quiz Part 25. In this video, you must choose the correct word to complete the phrasal verb in each question. You may need to pause the video at each question to think of your answers. Are you ready for another challenging quiz? Well, okay, here we go. Number one. And the answer is, Mark was very uneasy about giving his presentation, but he carried it off quite well today. To carry something off, like in this example here, means to succeed in doing something or achieving something that, let's say, may be difficult. All right, and that's what happened here. Mark uh, looks like he was uh, uneasy here. He was maybe nervous about his presentation but he succeeded in doing it. He carried it off well. All right, number two. And the answer is, they kicked off his birthday party with an old movie of his childhood. If you kick something off, like in this example, you start something or you launch something. And that's what they did at his birthday party. They began the party with an old movie about his childhood, all right? It was kicked off by this movie. All right, number three. And the answer is, his real first name is Kenneth, but he goes by his middle name, Robert. All right, to go by something is to be known by something, and that's what happened here in our example here. Maybe people know this person, by the name Robert, but his real name is Kenneth. All right, so he goes by. People call him Robert. You got it? All right, number four. And the answer is, I was able to pick her out of the crowd because she was wearing a bright pink dress. Now, to pick someone out, like in this case, to pick someone out of a crowd, it means to discern or to distinguish something or someone from a group of things, or in this case, people. And that's what happened here. The person could pick out the girl, could find the girl because of her bright pink dress. All right, number five. And the answer is, I usually work up a good sweat whenever I jog around the park near my home. In this case, to work up something is to produce something. And in this case, the person, when uh, he or she was jogging, they actually uh, made some sweat. They sweat it. Okay, so they to work up a sweat means to produce sweat or to make sweat. All right, then. That's how it's used. And this example is a good way to see it. All right, number six. And the answer is, I was blown away by my son's performance at the concert last night. In this particular example, to be blown away by something is to be impressed by it greatly. All right, so this person was, um, was very, very impressed with his son's performance. He was blown away. All right, this is a good example to show that. All right, number seven. And the answer is, they looked at the possibility of buying a house, but it was just too expensive for them, so they rent it instead. In this case, to look at something means to consider it or to think about it. And that's what happened here. They were thinking about or considering the possibility of buying a house, but they couldn't afford it. Got it? Okay, number eight. And the answer is, I nearly fell asleep in my literature class today because my professor droned on about classical English authors for most of the lesson. If someone drones on, they talk for a long time, and it's usually boring. That's what we call droning on. It's very dull. And in this case, the person almost fell asleep in class because of the professor. 
All right, number nine. And the answer is, our road trip to Boston went really smooth this morning, but we ran into bad weather this afternoon, which is why we arrived there so late. If you run into something, like in this example, you begin to experience problems. And that's what happened here. They were on the road, and in the morning it was smooth, didn't have any problems. But in the afternoon, they ran into, they experienced bad weather. All right, the final question, number 10. And the answer is, Gerard was really into baseball when he was younger, but now he loves football. If you're into something, all right, in this case, it's the be verb plus into. This, we use this a lot, and it means that the person is very interested in something. And in this case, Gerard was really into baseball, meaning that Gerard really loved baseball when he was younger. But now he loves football. To be into something means to like it very much or to love it. Got it? That's all for this video. Please let me know how you did on the quiz in the comment section below. If you're into phrasal verbs, there's many more videos to come. Okay, so thanks again for subscribing, and remember what I always say, keep practicing! See you next time!